Today we're going to be changing the gaskets and the group heads on the uh, espresso machine here. Um, I noticed you're supposed to probably do it, I think it's like every three to six months, somewhere around there. Um, depends on the use, uh, but it's, it's like rubber, so imagine like a car tire it wears out over time. Um, the way I can tell is, first of all, look how far my porter filter has to go before it's like in. Yeah, it, should, it shouldn't have to go that far. And also, if you're not, like if, not, if you just go and kind of just leave it there, I put, I put the blank disc in. Um, so you'll see water will start coming out. Um, and that shouldn't happen. So you have to like really, even if I like, um, even if I just kind of like nudge it there, and I haven't, I haven't like pushed it, like this water will come out. You really have to like wedge it in to make it so it doesn't leak. Um, so the way to change that is uh, I have these like picks here. I got them, I think on like, Amazon or something. Uh, like 10 bucks or something. It's not that hard uh, to use. Um, might have to, I think we have to take the tray out here. Um, so on this machine, this bottom tray comes out. Uh, and you need to like take like a flathead screwdriver and wedge it in. I want to be careful of the paint. You know, this thing, you work with water and stuff here, so if you scrape off the paint, um, your machine could start rusting. So just be gentle. You try to be. Sometimes, you know, mistakes happen. Uh, yeah, to set this on there. Yeah, um, it's a great time to inspect your machine and realize, hey, we should probably do a deep clean or swap out a bunch of parts. Um, but yeah, you just take, like, these picks. And you kind of just want to take out the shower head. Um, it unscrews. Just unscrew it here. Just put that somewhere. Um, cool. So you just take this and you kind of want to dig into the rubber. Like you can see it here around the edge, the black part. You kind of just get in there and scrape it out and this is why there's, there's four different options here um you might even have, like you could also take like a, a screw the like drywall screw or something and use that the older these are the easier it is to break apart <laughs> these are like probably like a year old maybe um so they're kind of hard and stiff still but nevertheless, they still need to be replaced. So, yeah, so just keep on wedging it in, pulling. So it's, really, it's a tricky process here. Eventually, it'll come out. Well, let's try all the different picks. This pack, I have a four pack here. I'm sure they make more and less. Yeah. Uh, the real how oh, hot. Okay. Here we go. Yep. These also deteriorate because cleaners you use in your machines. Um, wears them down but yeah I mean it just broke in half and stuff and you can you can see here this is where I was jabbing you can see around the edge and stuff it doesn't look very good yeah, it shouldn't break in half unless it's old struggling there's another half cool yeah so old brittle and it breaks apart versus new and flexible so flexible brittle also look at that Ugh. nasty oh, um i'm just gonna take one of the, the picks here and just score around just to make sure we got yeah cool all right so new one um goes in, shoot, I didn't 
a quick direction. We can see here. Another group. Yeah, it looks like the flat part goes down. Um, you should, I guess you should look at it before you take it out. <laughs> but yeah, um, I want to do this with your machine off because uh, it's hot. But I'm just pushing it in right now. All right, all right. So took the bottom of the pick and I just like wedged it up in there. Get the order filter in. Kind of do the work for me. Nope, still not. Okay, yeah, so what I'm doing here, let me show you. Just taking it and just like wedging it in. It's really stiff, like rubber. So it is kind of hard to get in. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's in. All right. So, okay. It's in. Feels in. All right. Yeah. So this one actually goes a lot farther. They sell different sizes, so maybe I can want the one. Interesting. Nevertheless, I mean, you could tell it needed to be replaced. Um. No way, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if I put the tray back, so I don't spill a bunch of water. Yeah, so, quarter filter, nice, yeah, it's not leaking everywhere now, all that was was three dollars, two dollars part or something. All right, I'm pretty sure these were in upside down, um, originally, because I think there's like, at least mine have like a groove on one side, and I think that's supposed to line up with the porta filter. Um, although it didn't seem to affect it on the right, I'm pretty sure that it goes the groove at the bottom. Because um, holding it up to the porta filter, that just makes a lot more sense. Yeah, this one, this one came out a lot easier. We don't use this side as much. Um, person in the morning typically uses the right side only. Well, it was nice and tight now. And there's a lot more resistance. And you can feel it. You can actually feel it grabbing. And you can see this side fell apart also. It was like shooting out and you can see like there's like dust and stuff. So make sure you clean it. Especially if you're doing this for someone else's like cafe. Like clean up after you. Like don't leave chalky rubber powder all over their counter and stuff. Yeah, but we go. Um, put the tray back in again. Um, oh yeah. Both sides are nice. There we go. I could have sworn last time I replaced it that when I put the handles in, they stopped at like here. So I'm wondering if I have the wrong one, like. Because as, as you turn, it get, the porta filter goes higher, do, like the grooves in the, the surface. And I can push this thing pretty far. I don't know. Maybe they're just not as long. They work all the way back here. Maybe it doesn't leak out or anything. So, we're good. Seem to be done.